Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Fong Ki Wei. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened up a photograph that I took in Wales on holiday. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the polygonal lasso select tool. And I'm going to create the first segment in the middle. Uh, which is kind of narrow at the top and thick at the bottom. And I've done it on a slant to make my piece look more interesting. And I'm going to press Control C to copy it and then Control V to paste it onto its own layer, which you can see there. OK. And then next thing I'm going to do is use the polygonal lasso tool while I've got just that segment visible to create another segment that's a bit wider, but the same, thick at the bottom, thin at the top. Then I'm going to go back to my photo, press Control C and Control V, and that's going to paste that segment onto its own um, layer. And then I'm going to do the same with the polygonal lasso select tool. Another segment, thin at the top, thick at the bottom, and then go back to the photo layer, Control C, Control V. And each time I'm going back to that new layer so I can use it to help me create the next shape. And then back to the photo layer, control C, control V, and you would just continue like that until you hit the sides of your photo. Okay. Back to the photo, control C, control V, and it pastes itself in and then using that new layer that's just pasted in to help you do the next section. Thick at the bottom, thin at the top. And then back to the photo, Control C, Control V. And you will continue like that until you've done the whole photo, but I'm not gonna make you sit through that. So I'm gonna cut forward and you'll see now I have all of these layers with all of these different thicknesses of segment on. I'm just gonna show you some of them. You see, if I make some of the layers invisible, you can see how each one gets progressively larger and larger until I filled the whole of the photo area. Okay, right. Now I'm going to the bottom layer and I'm gonna go image adjustments, hue saturation, but try and remember control and S, it's gonna make this a whole a lot easier. And I'm gonna bring the brightness right down because this is one of the outer layers. Then I'm gonna to go to the next layer and I'm gonna press control and S this time, because it's gonna make it a lot quicker. Okay, and I'm gonna make this darker, but not quite as dark. Then to the next layer up, control and S. And then again, Dark, but not quite as dark. Just bringing the darkness, control and S, bringing the darkness down or lightness down, I should say, in each segment, control and S, and then bring the lightness down. Okay. And it's literally doing that over and over with less and less darkness or more and more lightness each time. So that you're kind of simulating the idea that with each segment, it's getting darker towards night time. Now, obviously, Funky Way, he um, actually took photographs at different times of the day and spliced different photos together. So, you know, we're trying to simulate that. And in order to do this, I'm going to go image adjustments, color balance, because at a point around here, I want to simulate as if there was a kind of sunset. So I want the light to go slightly orange. So I'm bringing up the red and bringing down the blue to kind of pump up the orange a bit in these segments. And that was control and B. So if you remember control and B, you don't need to go image adjustments, um, color balance. And again, I'm making this one a bit more orange and then control and B again. And I'm going to make this one a little less orange. OK. And I'm going to use hue saturation on this one as well. So control and S and I'm actually going to make it a bit lighter this time. And this is where things change. I'm still going to press control and S 
for each segment, but I'm going to begin to up the lightness now for these central ones. Okay. So next layer, control and S, and I'm going to bring the lightness up. So it's all getting a little bit lighter. And then click OK. And then last segment, really light, because it's the lightest, most central one. OK. Click OK, all good. And it's at this point you can look at it holistically and say to yourself, is there anything I need to change overall? So I'm selecting all the layers together and then I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness, contrast. And I'm just going to bring the brightness down on the whole lot and the contrast up. So I make my image that little bit more dramatic. OK, um, I also want to just take a moment just to choose um, one of these layers which is that kind of sunset layer. And I just want to make it a little bit darker. So I just dropped the darkness there. So you can do that tweaking all you need um, at the end. And that is this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.